good thing we're here. This is the entrance to VML, now open, which was previously C. Donatiello, and was something else before that. Great property, beautiful gardens, very good wine, nice facility. Let's take a little ride in. Here, just below the tasting room, they have a little pond with water lilies and a group of picnic tables that you can picnic in the shade. All these nice gardens, and then they have nice seating areas up in here as well. They do oftentimes musical events. This is a very pretty property. Some beautiful redwood trees, the vines, peach trees, lots of roses, lots of lavender, gorgeous gardens. These beautiful steps here with the plantings. Lots of water features. There's a, they have a specialized gardener who comes in effect and does the water features for them. They've always had great wines. You can see nice seating area, more water features. Great view across the valley. That mountain across there is St. Helena at the top of Napa. But we're here in the Russian River Valley. VML, Moons and Stars. Beautiful gardens, beautiful location. The VML is named after the winemaker. The owners of the winery are the same owners as Truett Hurst, another fantastic winery. Who's, the winemaker is the same winemaker for their Zinfandel and Syrah. And of course here they do a great deal of Pinot Noir, Chardonnay, and they'll probably, I probably assume they'll add in some other wines as well since they have access to a lot of different grapes. VLM, or rather VML. Ralph Yamichi signing off.